So, as promised, this is my custom bombshell video. This is the uh, Hasbro on the left here, and this is the Takara version on the right, which I've uh, modified a little bit. Um, I really like this guy, He's, uh, but he's too purple. I, I, I wanted him to be more cartoon accurate. Uh, this logo is really good compared to the Takara one, but uh, other than that, he's uh, not as accurate. Um, I also colored this with a, uh, a metallic silver pen. So that's why well, he looks slightly different than you'll see him on the pigs. So let's get on to the uh, Takara version. Uh, he was he's been he's all gray with uh, black, um, but this is after I've modified him. So uh, not a lot done here. Again, I just use the silver pen, uh, which I can't find right now, to paint this uh, metallic. Uh, so we'll just do a little quick transformation here. The face is a much more uh, cartoon accurate. Um, this is it's cool. It looks it's a great face, but um, it's not cartoon accurate. And you know I'm a whore for cartoon accuracy. So what did I do to modify this guy? I have painted his legs. There was a purple stripe down here, I think, or was it gray? Uh, just the front. And then I um, so this is one of the Transformers Adventure series. So he had that uh, that that circular Autobot no circuit. Circular Decepticon logo on him that had the, uh, you know, the trans scan type of thing, like this sort of dealy where you scan it for the game. So, uh, and it was raised up in a circle. So what I did is I had to file that down. I uh, used a, did I use a Dremel for that? No, I think I just used a hand file to file off the corners here and this part just to make it all smooth. And then I painted it gold, which is a pretty good match. This is the original gold and this is just a uh, Citadel Paints gold that I used. And then I just put a... Uh, transparent background Decepticon symbol there. Uh, I should probably finish transforming him. So let's do that. I love this little uh, mold. I think it's great that we finally got some Insecticons. We're just waiting on kickback now since we got uh, shrapnel or scrapnel. Oh yeah, one other thing I did is I uh, I, I dremeled off these uh, pegs. Um, I guess this is, you can use this guy as a gun I think, so this is a handle. It's also supposed to be a little I don't know, rockets or guns or something in there. You can tuck them under, which is fine. Oops, that's off camera. You can tuck them under, or you can have them out. They do kind of look bug-like, but uh, I don't know what their purpose is. So, uh, well, I have the legs off for customization. I just You just pop them out of these, um, they, just, they call these mushroom pegs. I think I, did I take them out? Yeah. Just take them out. Uh, I just took some green uh, painter's tape to mask off the parts that are already black <clears throat> or the red here that I didn't want painted and just spray painted this with a matte black because uh, the spray paint gives it a nicer finish than doing it by hand then I used a Dremel cutting blade to just cut this off and sand it down a little bit to make that smooth uh, oh no not there here this is where it was cut off I'm not focusing well here today there so yeah not the best uh, not the smoothest but again this is another one I rushed so yeah, you can see how it was cut and sanded there. So I'll just pop this guy back in. And uh, yeah, so that's black, which he was in the cartoon. Um, I was thinking about cutting off these little thruster gun fists. Uh, I don't know why they did that, but um, I'm not sure. I would probably do a bad job, so I left it there. So that's how he looks. Um, and he's more cartoon accurate now, so I'm pretty happy with that look. Can see. You know, let's probably keep this guy in bug mode. He'll be one of the little Insecticon clones. Let me grab the other ones. Here is a shrapnel or a scrapnel. They're calling him now for copyright reasons. This is the Hasbro one, but I've uh, I painted the silver over with black to make it more cartoony, and I painted some black here. Uh, because this is how the Takara one is, and this makes it more cartoon accurate. Uh, painted his eyes red, and I did the same thing with the silver metallic pen uh, on the um, these things here. You can see there's the original gray color on the back, unpainted. Um, another great little figure. I really like that guy. Oh, and I painted these with the metallic pen as well. I was thinking about giving this guy the treatment, but that's a lot of drawing. Um, and then just because we haven't got a kickback yet, um, here's my G1, uh, since he's the only Insecticon I had as a kid. And I always thought kickback was the leader, so that's why I got him. 
and I just like the look of him. But then I found out these guys sort of alternate as a leader. I think usually it's Bombshell. He seems to get more airtime, but sometimes it's Shrapnel, apparently, according to the, the TF Wiki. But anyway, there's my uh, Insecticon squad. As, as I was playing with these guys, I got so tempted to pick up the Bad Cube Evil Bug Core, but, uh, ooh, 200 bucks, I don't know. Anyway, there's Bombshell. Of course, the only problem with uh, Shrapnel is he's a little heavy on the electrons. Electrons!